Neuralink has received approval from the FDA to conduct research on a second patient after a failure with the first, and it's leaving many lawmakers wondering how the hell they passed the FDA process after a myriad of lawsuits and controversy that is only mounting. We'll go over the timeline of events. In 2022, it was leaked to the public that Neuralink had been facing a lawsuit filed with the USDA after mistreatment of animals and the involvement of bioglue, which did kind of melt through their skulls. Some claim that the results of that investigation were giving them a free pass for animal cruelty. While it should not have been public record, the results were leaked along with many employee concerns about the speed at which the research was conducted, the way it was being conducted, as well as putting animal and human welfare at risk. There is still an ongoing lawsuit between an employee who claimed that she was working with herpes B infected monkeys and not given proper PPE while she was pregnant and was later let go from the company. This is corroborated with a Department of Transportation investigation in which they were transporting chips and biological materials that were contaminated with these diseases. Now it is reasonably hard to get a monkey that doesn't have these conditions just because they're often taken from the wild where they are quite common. A number of employees have come out with these complaints. Following investigations at their UC Davis facility that did result in lawsuits, they've moved to a private facility in Austin, Texas, where they plan to build a private campus. It is important to note that when you are a researcher and you receive federal funds, you're held to a higher standard for research in animal welfare. If you manage to do it privately, you can get past a lot of that legislation. However, when it comes to the FDA, you're still going to have to be beholden to them when it comes to the law. In the 2022 investigation, the FDA did find a number of violations and concerning practices. Nobody is quite sure how they managed to correct it so quickly and move on to human trials in 2024. The initial trial with the first patient is largely considered to not be a success. The paralyzed patient who experiences advanced ALS had 90% of the electrodes peel away from his brain within the first year. If you look at the early complaints and requirements by the FDA, they were concerned that the electrodes would migrate and peel away from the brain, whether or not there could be damage if it needed to be removed and how safe the batteries were. They're planning on moving the electrodes deeper into the patient's brain for the second trial. This is not especially concerning because that is how neurological devices are implanted. They're not brand new. This isn't the first time it's been done. However, the fact that it failed so quickly is concerning because there is a 3 to 4% chance of getting an infection if you need to have a neural device replaced. One might assume that they solved these problems quite quickly because they just got approval to test a second neural device which should allow the blind to see. Do you believe that these allegations are wholly or partly false? And if so, why haven't the results been given to the public? 